If you're not interested in this kind of thing, don't watch this because <laughs> I'm not a makeup guru, okay? I'm just, I'm not. Tonight I'm going to a concert with my dad. I'm gonna go and see the uh, San Francisco Symphony performing the Brandenburg Concertos. I'm so excited! My teacher is actually playing in it, Linda Lucas. I had a huge acne breakout earlier this year. It was cystic actually, so pretty bad, but I'm getting treated by a very, very good dermatologist. Whatever, it's skin, it'll change, it'll go away eventually. So, I'll just show you what I do to get ready to go to a classical concert. Obviously, you don't have to dress up this much. I just like dressing up, and so does my dad. So, we just dress up a lot. Okay, all I did was wash my hair, wash my face, and let me show you the products. CeraVe, CeraVe, whatever. Hydrating cleanser, organics, shampoo and conditioner, the coconut milk one. Anti-breakage serum. Pianist Mira uses this too. I'm gonna put that in my hair. I'm gonna take this paddle brush by Ionica. You know, it came with, came, came, it came with this. I put five pumps because my hair is so long. Kind of work it in there. We're gonna put on eyeshadow primer first. So this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. We're gonna put this here under the eye too. <laughs> this is exactly the same expression I had in my other video. Oh man. We're gonna use a little fluffy brush and I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Duo Duo what? We're going to use this one because it's close to my skin color. Not really. It's a lot lighter, isn't it? But whatever. Pile it on the brush. You guys are gonna gag when you look at this. You can see it's totally broken. <laughs> Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Liner. It's in the color Demolition. It's like a dark brown. I'm gonna do like a super winged eyeliner look because I'm going for a more retro look. This is another Urban Decay thing. Oh, I, I collected this over a year, okay? So don't buy all this stuff at once. We're just gonna use the same brush because I am so lazy. And we are going to use Virgin, that one, the lightest one. Oh crap, I forgot to put on my contacts. Okay, you guys are just gonna watch me put on contacts very skillfully. We're going to put on a little bit of Naked. We're gonna put on some Naked, which is uh, this color. We're gonna put some on in the kind of middle of where your crease is. Don't, don't put it in the corner just yet. And then do it to the other side. We're gonna put, well, it's a darker brown. Now, very lightly, okay, you don't wanna like smash this into your crease, okay? Just very lightly kind of feather that in. Little circular motions. Just kind of get a nice little gradient thing going on. We're gonna go kind of glam tonight, right? So I'm gonna take Dark Horse. I like this, it's sort of like a, almost kind of like a cold brown. We're gonna feather that into just in the wee corner. We're gonna use <laughs> Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure Oil-Free Skin Smoothing Face Primer for Sensitive Skin because that is what my skin is, it's very sensitive. Put about that much, go like this, and then I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Advanced Never Fail Makeup SPF 20 Sunscreen 18 Hour Smooth Blend Comfort. We're gonna start with one pump. One pump is not a lot, okay? Especially if you have an acne scarred face like me. Okay, so now most of my acne is right here. The kind of acne I have is hormonal and typically where you break out is your chin and your jawline and your cheeks. So that's where I need the most coverage. So that's where I'm going in for first with this. So I use now a second pump for down here. Now I'm on my third pump, okay? I'm gonna put some up here where I need it, down my nose, okay? And then, cause I have acne scars pretty much everywhere. It's, it's kind of sad, but um, you know, it's a reality. This is actually the third time in my life that I've broken out you know, like this, but this is the worst out of the three because I've never had cystic acne before. Okay, so now I'm going in with, I think that was more like half a pump, but I'm gonna put it over the places that I need even more coverage now because now I covered my whole face, right? So 
Now we're just kind of going in with more layers over the parts that I need. Now I don't know if you noticed but I'm like kind of patting it in and then kind of working it in in like circular motions. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but it just sort of helps it melt into my skin a little bit better. Now, granted, with this much makeup, you're, you're not going to look completely natural. It, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Please don't go out <laughs> every single freaking day like this, because this is a lot of makeup. I'm totally getting it on my hair. Look at that. Very attractive. I'm using the AccuView True Eye. These are one-day contact lenses. Be, uh prepared for the disgusting. I usually um, am reading music when I have these contacts on. It's usually actually for when I do performances. I needed contacts that would stay moist because the thing is like when you're reading music, you don't blink as much. So if you have contacts on that uh, are not, you know, are kind of those two weak ones, they get dry. Oop, 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 it just came right out. They get dry really, really easily. I switched to these one day ones and they're... These ones I think let more oxygen in. This is a trick I learned from Candy Johnson. To make sure that you don't cry too much, go like this. That actually sucks tears back into your eyes. I'm using, same thing, Healthy Finish Veil by Maybelline. I'm using actually an angle brush. Typically people don't use this to put powder all over their face, but I'm so lazy in terms of using like a whole bunch of brushes, so I just use this. Tap it on and then swirl. And when you swirl, don't smash the brush against your face. If you do that, you're actually going to like really move around the foundation underneath it too. I'm a lot more yellow in real life, like just so you know. Okay, I'm not just saying that just because I'm Chinese. I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula. Oh my god, I hit pan. I didn't even know! This is the Talc Free Mineral Airbrushing Bronzer. This has SPF 30 in it. Eh? Lots of it. We're gonna put it right under where my cheekbone is. And I put on a lot. When you have acne, okay, you have to contour. If you don't contour, people are going to really notice the bumps on your skin. For some reason, people don't notice it as much if you contour your face and you just sort of slightly exaggerate the shape of your face. I'm putting some up here because I have a pretty large forehead. I'm gonna put a little bit up there too. See, look, isn't that crazy? Like, suddenly I look kind of normal, except with a lot of bronzer. It's like almost snooky-ish. I don't have very extremely strong jaw bone, so we're gonna put some back there. Same line, it's the same exact thing, except it's the blush. This is a super bright pink. I put it right there, like that, okay? Translucent pearl, highlight thingy, whatever. Again, same brush. Let's be real. How many of you actually own 2,500 brushes? We're putting it in a C kind of shape, like that. Usually people also put it here, here, and here. But I don't. I have tried before. Every single time I do it, I look like I came out of a sauna. Now we're taking this again, and we're going to blend it out now. This is it's the same thing that Cassandra from Diamonds and Heels 14. Like, it's still there. You can still see it. But it looks more natural. Now we're going to go back to the L'Oreal eyeshadow duo. We're going to use the brown color as my eyebrow shade. We are going to reshape my lips. Same thing that uh, Cassandra does. There, my lips are back. I'm just going to curl my lashes. I use the same one, Tweezer Man. I'm using the Falsies Volume Mascara, the flared one. don't put any on my lower lash line because my eyes are so small that if I do, it just closes up my eye. Now we're going to use Fix Plus Spray by MAC. Generously, just to make sure the makeup does not melt off my face. I totally missed. And I'm done! Show you guys the finished look. 
maybe tonight when my hair is like actually dry. I need to change, I need to go. Okay, I'll see you guys later, bye. So here I am after the concert and it looks like my makeup survived. I'm wearing these lovely dangly fake pearl earrings that matches my fake pearl collar. And I'm trying to show you guys how the whole dress looks but kind of failing. But anyway, this was 30 bucks from Burlington Co. Factory. Love the tiered detailing. These are my shoes that I am showing off to you and they are by Naturalizer, my favorite brand. The heel is thick and short, which I love, and it's very thick at the bottom, which makes it very easy for walking. And I think I stepped on something kind of disgusting, right there. Anyway, I love the strap, also makes it easier for walking because then you won't be like Cinderella. And here I am showing you the extreme amount of padding that Naturalizer put in this shoe, which I love because I have flat feet and I get tired really easily while walking, so I really need a super padded shoe. And now, here I am showing you how it looks on my foot. I think it looks sexy and pretty classy. And I'm also wearing pantyhose because it was really cold. And I am also showing off my scarf and also kind of showing off how I tie it. I love the way I tie it. I think it looks really classy. I'm using the word classy a lot. Anyway, um, looks like a braid, doesn't it? I love it. And you know, you can scrunch it up. Here is my favorite black short trench coat by Susie Shear, my favorite Canadian clothing line. And I'm just kind of showing off how it looks. Anyway, I'm also showing you how it's it just hits right at the knee, which is exactly where my dress hits. I really like this look. I think it's super classy. And here it is all tied up and it's super warm. I totally love this jacket. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. They'll be able to tell which flute has better tone than another one, which head joint, the lip hole right here, which lip hole is cut a little bit more refinedly, refinedly, is that a word? I got foundation on my friend's flute when I was demoing something to her quintet. I'm so sorry. That's really gross. I think from now on, whenever I demo something, so I'm just gonna do it on my own flute because I don't wanna like, Get my grime on someone else's baby.